Hello YouTube and welcome to the next video with our Samsung Galaxy S4. This time we install the SIM card and the battery and then boot the device and set it up. So get your fingernails under the back cover and there we go and don't be afraid this is really really thin material and uh, but it won't break. So we take our SIM card and now let's see micro SIM slot and SIM card slot and it goes in this way. There we go. Now our battery. Search for the contacts. There we go. And we are done. Now put the back cover back on and just a few gentle pushes and there we go ready to boot on off switch is on the right side and here we go yes vibrating and now there we go samsung galaxy s4 gt i 9505 it's of course the 1.9 gigahertz quad core version the octa-core version is not available here in Germany and um, it's not really an octa-core because there are two separate um, quad-cores that are never in use at the same moment. So let's put in our SIM. SIM pin. There we go. Language. English. Next. Adding. Wi-Fi. There we go. It found our network. Put in the password. It's connected. Next. And now date and time. Automatic. Yes, please. End user agreement. I understand, but don't send anything to Samsung. Do you have a Samsung account? No, but we can skip it. I don't want one. Got Google, yes, of course. So put in your Google account data, signing in. And no credit card, not now. Backup and restore, yes, you can do this, but uh, not for me this time. Google location services, yes. And there's the Dropbox. You get 50 gigabytes of free Dropbox space for two years. This uh, You can combine this with your free HTC mem uh, memory or whatever. I've already done this, so uh, I won't get the 50 gigabytes twice, so I can skip this step. And learn about features. There you can find all the brand new uh, Samsung S4 features or Samsung software features, SBM, AirBeam, Air gestures, voice control, activate, activate, smart control, smart crew, easy mode. I will activate all of them, but not easy mode. I don't want to have it easy. Lee. So next. Uh, now gives the device a name. Uh, there you can see this keyboard and what's really nice with the space, you get an extra row just for the numbers. So S4 is fine. I'm so creative. And finish. And there we go. Welcome to the home screen. I just noticed on the camera uh, there's a, f f a screen is, is uh, f flickering and so. But uh, don't be afraid. This is you can't see this with your uh, eyes. This is just the camera. I will now turn off auto brightness. Put it on max. And yes, that has got rid of the problem. So we got one, two, three, four, five home screens. Let's check out the lock screen. Uh, tip swipe the arrow below to unlock. Don't show this message again, of course. So we are swiping. And there we go. Hmm, this took a few seconds. Eh, this could be faster, but now let's check out the interesting stuff. We got here shortcuts to all of the Samsung features, NFC, S-Beam, Smart Play, Smart Scroll, on and on and and and. But we want to head over to our uh, standard settings. 
So here we go. Um, you can already see this is this smart wizard from S Samsung U user interface. It's above the normal Android uh, system. Um, this is how they uh, get all the Android uh, the Samsung features done. But we get Android version 4.2.2. So we get the newest Android version here, better than on the HTC One. And let's check out the storage. We got total space, 9.15 gigabytes, and out of the box free are only 8.44 gigabytes. This is really uh, low for a 16 gigabyte smartphone. Of course, I know you only get 14.6, uh, I guess, uh, but um, 8.44, this is really, really not much. So, the screen, reflections. Um, Great, great. They are reflection, but they are not as strong as on other devices I tested in the last couple of weeks. Um, brightness, Super AMOLED Full HD screen. Yes, of course, but it's a pentile display. A uh, tempile? Pentile? Hmm, I have to look this up. You know where they are sharing where uh, the pixel for, for multiple colors. Um, but first impression is really, really great. So check out app switching, home button, okay. Double tap home button for S-Voice, of course. Then what else do we got? We got the men sensor menu button here. Maybe keep pushing it. We go to Google Now, of course. And we got a back button on the side if you keep pushing it. We get this nice little uh, shortcuts features here. Hmm. Not really sure why I want to to get a shortcuts shortcut stuff here. Hmm. Let's check out the pre-installed apps. A lot of apps from Samsung and some advertisement apps here, of course. Are uh, not really advertisement, but services uh, companies have paid. Samsung to put him, them on the S4 out of the box. Okay, this is it. And we are done in my opinion. I'm really looking forward to testing this device now in the next couple of days. Do a few comparison videos with the iPhone, Apple 5, uh, Apple iPhone 5 with the HTC One and of course the Google Nexus 4. So guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.